family and thank you for joining me on another episode of Talk to Talk. So I'm your host Desh Belay Bechen and today I'm chatting to an awe-inspiring woman who's walked quite a journey in the industry. She's also um, a nominee for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2023. Um, she's goal-oriented, resilient and self-disciplined. Being in her presence is an absolute pleasure and I've just experienced that for a little while right now but uh, as you can just feel um, it's going to be or from my voice itself it's going to be a really really inspirational uh, interview she's got the ability to guide a team to reach both short and uh, long-term goals uh, being in after sales is few and far between for females in the motoring trade so without further ado let's welcome sue marie smith and she's the after sales manager at bmw montana and as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Seriti Solutions, MFC and Evo by NetBank. Hello, Sue Marie. Hi. Thank you so much for driving all of that way. Thank you for inviting me. But it was a pleasurable drive. You drove the new BMW 2, what did you say it was? 220i. There we go. So, you know, it was, it was a pleasurable um, journey, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> nice on the open road. Well, Sumari, as I said earlier on, you are a nominee for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards. Congratulations, there were 6,000, so um, it really is an, a great achievement. Um, and we more appreciative of you accepting the nomination because you understand that this is not a competition, it's a movement. Um, to use this platform as a nominee to inspire, to uplift and to empower young women uh, or women that want to join our trade. So thank you for accepting that nomination. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get you some votes now when we do upload your profiles, okay? Okay. But in order to do that, people need to get to know you and like you, right? <laughs> Perfect, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think let's start off with your, your journey in the motoring industry. Where did it start? Well, Desh, I've been in the motor industry for 20 years. Wow. I started off as a service receptionist mm. in the after sales department. And then I've made my way throughout all the ranks and then finally end up as head of after sales. Wow. And, and yeah. were you with multiple brands or just BMW? Oh, actually, I've been with BMW Midrand for the last 20 years. No yes. way. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know a few people, they like the dealer principal. Um, what's his name? Luke Dreyer. Luke Dreyer, yes. amazing guy. We've been to the dealership, amazing. Mm. And, and a champion again for women empowerment, for women, uh, you know, moving up the ranks in our trade. There's a guy named Cash and Chetty, I think. Oh, yes. Yes, he is, is he still there? He's one of the sales guys, so, yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> I've worked with a few when they were at the old building on Bavaria. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so tell me, what's your opinion about our platforms? Apparently, she's been following me for a very long time, so I have to hear this. <laughs> Listen, I really love what you're doing because wow. I mean, women in the motor industry is, you know, we just get told you there, but going through all the ranks and learning to work with all the guys and things like that. And now somebody's actually bringing women out, you know, making women a big thing. Let me call it that. And that's what we want because you know what, we're in partnership with the guys, we're in partnership with the dealer and we also love cars just as much as guys do. Mm -hmm. I think there's some women that love it more. Mm -hmm. but, um, and no more. Yeah. Oh, exactly, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> no, but you know what, it's, it's, a ni it's nice to know that there's somebody backing the girls. Aww, and, I, and we are, um, like I said, I am very grateful to MFC um, and NetBank and, and Evo Seriti mm -hmm. Solutions that's been our sponsor for this platform for the past three years. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it is so important, as you said, for us to shed um, some light and also just to, to highlight, sorry, the, the females in our trade that's okay. making a difference, that's, that's contributing and we'd like to see more women in leadership roles and that's Absolutely. why we're here. So uh, what do you love most ooh, about <laughs> representing the BMW brand? <laughs> Listen, of course, it's 
BMW, the <laughs> premium brand. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, for me, it's the premium experience we can give to customers, the customers we interact with, the cars we drive. I mean, BMW is just the best. Um, every time there's some, there's new initiative, there's new, new models, mm -hmm. and it's all of that. And we get to, we get to be in the front line. Yeah. We get to drive these cars. We get to experience these cars, mm -hmm. and also we get to deal with these premium customers. Right. And that's the nice thing is to to be part of a family, be part of the BMW family. Aww. Yes. Yeah, and you, I mean, 20 years. It's oh, been a long, long time. <laughs> um, tell me, what's your management? style like summary so i've got this thing i don't like the word management mm -hmm. i don't like manage mm -hmm. i like leader mm -hmm. because for me it's not about managing people about leading people right. you know teaching people new things showing them new tricks showing them ways to do things empowering people and letting people and I mean, especially in the motor industry with the women, is let them be the voice. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel, that's what I'm there to do. Yes. I'm there to help the staff raise and take control of the situation. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's why I, I don't feel like I want to be a manager because I'm not there to manage people. Right. I'm there to help people grow oh. and to empower them. Oh, and that's, that's amazing. What, what that's I amazing. How important do you think, especially as a, as a leader, um, yeah, is mental health? in the workspace especially in the motor industry that is very very important you know <laughs> dealing yeah. with all kinds of situation you can never go to work and expect to have the same day over and over mm -hmm. and um, it's it's one of the things that i try and get people to understand is you know take a break do something different grow yourself you know speak to people if you mm -hmm. feel that you've got a problem talk mm -hmm. and I think that's also the nice thing about this platform is that it, it's making women want to talk yes. and that's the thing if you talk about it you are actually growing your mental health you right. know and that is what it's for me about mm -hmm. and I love it I just totally love this oh, yeah. thank, you, thank you I mean that's just validation and even for me sitting here doing uh, these interviews I mean I think I've done over 800 sure. um, in the last two and a half years and it's been I mean for me um, I'm not listening to I'm seeing different people mm -hmm. different personalities that are bringing something different to the table male and females we have so many men champions that yes. are behind us yeah. and behind this platform but me too I need that validation and that mm -hmm. encouragement and you to say things like that because I too as you said uh, you know just take a break and you know if you if, if it's good for your mental health Absolutely. and you just and when you're tired rest yes don't give up no. rest and I, I promise you I mm. wanted to give up many times no. but we all go through those situations no. and rest is so important for the mental health um, and yeah the narrative you talk about having to speak about it and that's mm. what we we aim to do having different people from different mm. uh, you know races and different backgrounds that that, that diversity I've seen it here mm. on this platform is absolutely mm. refreshing so amazing mm. so thank you so much for that validation it means a lot to us um, what is the most unusual discriminatory situation that you have faced now you started 20 years ago I've only been in the trade for 13 years mm. but I do know when I started back then, it was bad. Mm. Um, I faced a lot of discrimination. Discrimination, the word itself was taboo back then. You can't say we want gender equality. Yeah. <clears throat> it's become a narrative that we want to continue and keep open. But has there been any situations that you have faced um, and that you can share with us mm. so we can educate and assist young women that are still going through that mm. how to handle it and how to you know they always say it's not the situation that's a problem it's the way you react to a situation okay. please help us <laughs> i dare sure it's it's difficult um you know being a female and being one of the first service managers in the bmw group mm -hmm. it was very challenging but uh, the, the, the funniest thing I can tell you is the, we had a couple of customers where they would walk in and I would have to speak to a client as the service manager and tell them what's happening with their cars and give them technical information and all of that. And I could see the disbelief, no, I don't really believe this. Mm -hmm. And I had to literally get my technical guys to come in and they would just repeat the same story oh. to them. Oh, no. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I end up being this customer's number one contact because you know right. this, this, this chick knew a little bit more right. so yeah that, that that was the biggest challenges I really had mm -hmm. so would you say that 
any young female in after sales that's facing this because I hear it all the time mm. they should what should they do should they speak to the customer and say but I do know what I'm talking about but then it angers the customer mm. or should they say okay let me call mm. my male counterpart mm. that does exactly mm. I'm actually the person's <laughs> boss but I'm, I'm just kidding but should we yeah. or should, what should mm. she do to avoid problems because the last thing we want to do is um, upset uh, the, the customer exactly right? Yeah. Right. I think it's always good to ask for advice mm -hmm. and it's always good to read the customer because mm -hmm. you will get the customer that don't really know much but he will ask and he will listen mm -hmm. then you'll get the guy that will know much more or the, the person that knows much more mm -hmm. and then they could look like they you know don't really believe you so it's always good to get an opinion or to get one of your colleagues to assist or mm -hmm. just sit in mm -hmm. you know it's always just that support and once again, that's what it's about, is having that support from your, your um, colleagues next to you. Absolutely. And, I and so I'm hoping, yeah. sorry, I'm hoping that this uh, interview, many people will watch it, many customers mm -hmm. will watch it, <laughs> and they would not, yeah. um, you know, they would not put another female through this because the brand or the, the dealership has already screened and vetted and, mm -hmm. and you know, hired the best person for the job. Trust me, I've worked mm -hmm. Or BMW, <laughs> and they will not hire anyone that's incapable, mm -hmm. be it female or male. Yeah. So thank you for that story mm -hmm. because many women do not want to, uh, you know, speak about the experience because it still hurts. Yeah. There's many instances in my career where I had to face this discrimination, yeah. um, and I still can't talk about a lot of it. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. That's very brave of you. Thank you so thank much. You. Any words of advice for young women that? want to join our trade we need apprentices lady apprentices <laughs> here we go listen. send me a cv <laughs> listen it, it it's an awesome um how can i say industry to be in mm -hmm. and i really love it and i know a lot of women that really loves the industry i think it's just becoming a, a thing that do what you love yes. and it counts for everybody male female do what you love because then you love what you do absolutely and yeah i think absolutely. that is what i can tell the girls out there is mm. if you want to be apprentice go for it doesn't mean you yes. need to be the strongest just have passion absolutely and never feel entitled no. um, you know it's so important to understand that without knowledge without education mm. you're not going to progress mm. you have to equip yourself in order to to reach those dreams that you want to see Maybe thank you true. so much is there anything you'd like to add you can tell me how wonderful I am <laughs> <laughs> you've done that already so much I've been following you <laughs> <laughs> no I just want to say that you know what working with um, the teams is it's absolutely amazing it's like my, my current D, uh, DP Tim says uh, we his first wife's club no. you know? and that's a nice thing about it because mm -hmm. we're, we're becoming a family if Absolutely. you're in the motor industry you actually become a family yeah. and I must say the guys really look after the girls so that's, that's something we can take away oh. from here so never be afraid to be part of of that oh. thank yeah. you so much Sumari thank you for, for having joining me. us and we really appreciate you thank you viewers we would like to thank you for your continued support and encourage you to like and share our content. Our non-profit companies, the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards, powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank, and the Talk the Talk Studios, sponsored by Seriti Solutions and Evo by NetBank, are platforms aimed at empowering, uplifting and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. If you are searching for a new or pre-owned vehicle, please visit www.auto.evo.africa. We have a wide range of vehicles on sale for you to choose from. And we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews, car maintenance tips and automotive advice all courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. So in light of what uh, Sumari said I'd like to leave you with a quote and I think it's so important that uh, you understand working even you know we're, we're trying to encourage young women to join our trade not just fall into it like most of us did but you we here because we love it we here we have the people that leave the trade and come back 
because they love it it's the most amazing um, you know industry to be a part of and if you love something it's so important for you to embrace it so I want to leave you with a quote that says love as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to love forever um, a human being is like a seed either you can make it as it is or you can make it grow into a wonderful tree with flowers and fruits ladies growth and development are continuous um, processes that require effort and patience it's okay to face setbacks and um, obstacles along the way but what matters most is the willingness to learn to adapt and to persevere um, with that right mindset and actions anyone can transform into a beautiful tree with flowers and fruits contributing uh, positively to the world around them it's all up to you and with that in mind i would like to remind you that the question should never be who's going to let me it should always be who's going to stop me